everybody please put your hands together. Miss Teresa Spanky. I'm very honored and proud to be a part of this. It's great to see it that it's finally come to fruition. I have to say I was introduced to this project through Ray Simmons introducing me to Di and Glenda. And they, the Citizens for Preserving History, Cynthia Lake and everybody involved, thank you. Bakersfield and the music community owe you a debt of gratitude, all of you. So thank you. Good story. In an effort to help being a songwriter, Tony Brown over there and I wrote a song from the vantage point of what it must be like to have been Merle Haggard and his memories of that home. And uh, I don't know, I guess just let's just let it roll. <laughs> and thank you, Norm, for having me. Yeah, we're doing too. You leaving? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the Hager boys. <laughs> he turned 21 in prison, doing life without the road. Learning not to be the running kind. Now he's dreaming of that box car he lived in as a boy. As those memories flood his mind Up staring down the railroad tracks He heard the whistle blow And he wondered just how far he could roam Now he's staring out the window At the white lines on the road As that super cheap is right. Now it's a long way from those California cotton fields at home to kicking out the footlights every night. Well, some call him the poet of the common man, sharing his soul to the song. for me because it turned out to be his last show in Bakersfield and it is an honor for me right now that his children let me come up here and do this too. So without further ado, please welcome Ben Haggard, Nor Noel Haggard and the Strangers. <laughs> <laughs> 